Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, thank you so much. That, that we will not, I want everybody to press into that prayer as we go. And of course, we are praying six all the watches at we're praying and we'll keep praying. Um, I want to encourage us as well. The 6 p.m. watch, you know, in the beginning, um, when we started praying for I think Yuki or Abuja, I think um um sister Tulok Wefalola got a word which was that we should pray for when friends pray all through on that watch. And it felt like, yeah. But now it makes sense because we have wedding friends with back to back. So we're not going to please. I just want to reiterate the 6 p.m. in addition to what we're praying, you know, we must make sure we're praying for all the wedding friends' brains. And Belgium is right around. And I want to encourage us as many people. Let's pray. Ghana is around the corner as well. Let's just pray. Let's just keep in prayer and just keep declaring and just keep praying. And the Lord God will help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, I, we're going to take testimonies and I'll share something at the end of it. If we have testimonies, I know there are testimonies in the house. Well, the Lord has been good to you. You want to share. Um, what? Why do we share testimonies? To celebrate the faithfulness of God is to increase the faith of many others. Because the testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy. So it becomes like prophetic word for other people. So if you have testimonies, can we just raise our hands? Why do we share? Is the covenant of God upon this house that the Lord God will always, 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 you know, just, you know, continually give us reasons to thank God and, and bless his holy name as a people. Hallelujah. So I did testify as you can raise your hand. Amen. Any other person? So we keep it, we get it rolling. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right, Lady Wumi, let's go. Amen and amen. Thank you. Yeah, I, I want to thank God for my life. I want to thank God for this platform. Thank God. I keep saying that it's um it's been a blessing to be part of this um ministry. I thank God for PI, I thank God for everyone, the ministry team, thank God for every minute that has come and been a blessing to us i also want to thank god for my daughter you know my first daughter there was a time there was a season just last year where it was i, I did not understand what was happening to her and i was just like god this girl was brought up in god in church and you know it was as if i was just an old school mother mm. <laughs> everything was just not working out and uh, I was really scared for her. I was really scared, and she was she's in university, so in another country. You know, sometimes I keep asking, "Are you going to church? What's happening?" Oh, okay, she went today. Oh, this just different stories. I just kept praying. It's just, <laughs> that time it, it looked as if it was a long season, but just looking back, it was just about three, four months. It wasn't long, but in the way it felt that period. In a lot of crying, a lot of praying, God, will I lose this child? Mm. Uh, you know, but, you know, it was just really painful and praying and just seeking God and just like God. But I want to thank God because then just beginning of this year, she came for Christmas and everything we talked. And beginning of this year, she went back to school. Ah, uh, at church, she just became. It was just. It was just different. It was just different. The way. I see my father just went, but she went on fire for God. She was like, oh, this is the prophecy that she got. That I, well, she's praying in tongues, she's doing this. I was like, yeah. God, thank you. Just want to thank God for the, the, the change. I did somebody before, one day, my, or somebody called that then, and she just, uh, she was talking to her friend, and she, and she, and she said something like, oh, she'll tell, she'll tell her, her mom that she's busy. I said, I'm calling you, you're saying you're going to tell you, me I'm, you're busy. But later on, now she's, she's one that we're calling, and we stay hours on the phone. Wow, As hallelujah. In, sometimes she won the bus stop. I'm just telling me to call you and I'm waiting for my bus. You know, I just want to thank God. Then what happened this week, um, last week or this week, early this week, just I just, I just woke up to a message. Oh, thank you for being a wonderful mom. I, I was Ooh. like, <laughs> what happened? So I was like, mom, I'm just looking over my life. I just realized that I don't have any mommy issues compared to uh -huh. people that I know, my friends. I was like, ah, this is a person that makes you feel like you your own is too much. Your own, your own is just prayer. Your own is just, you know. So I just want to thank God because, just like when I was thinking about that, God, so I, I really want to just bless God because the prayers, the prophecies that come for her, I got to receive a prophecy on this platform during the um October, 
and I was I was not even on the call. I left the call, and uh, Pastor Tayo called her name, and actually described her. So I just thank God for the word. I know it's still going to more is going to come with her. I just want to thank God. So I encourage anybody if you have a child that is giving you issues, just trust God because we've been mm-hmm. praying for these children. We've been taking them, um, showing them the way of the Lord. They can't go anywhere. God, mm-hmm. they, are, they are for God and they will always be for Christ. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. We thank God for that. Um, um, <laughs> Kate C. Sister Katie. Good morning. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to thank God for his um, faithfulness. So on the 1st of June 2009, I started my journey in PwC and I was there for 15 years. The journey came to an end this July. And I want to thank God for faithfulness all through. I bless God for growth. I bless God for growth. I bless God for growth. Yes, I joined as a single lady. I left there as a married woman with three children. How the Lord sustained my marriage, sustained my children. Indeed, it's um, a testimony. I thank God for victories. I thank God for his presence, even through the struggles. I thank God for a good name. I mm. thank God for a, thank God for favor. So when I, I was supposed to have left since June last month, and then they reach out to me and say, oh, please, that they are having an international review that I, dish, I should please um, extend my time there. Obviously, I'm like, no, no, no. But then my heart um, emotionally um, attached. So I'm like, okay, I'll come back. And I went there. And I thank God because the review went so well that the file that I was responsible for was the best in the review. Uh-huh. Um, it was like, wow, this is living on a high note. And I bless God for that. And then I thank God for the blessing of counsel because even my living, Pierre knows that it has been the last, I think last two years, at mm-hmm. some point, hearing God saying no. And I bless God for it, Pierre, because you were the only person that was telling me. So, and because my husband doesn't play with Pierre. So I tell him, okay, Pierre has Pierre has also um said this. Okay, so he calmed down. But at some point, I was just like, madam, why are you not moving? Now, thank God for direction and the um conviction on when to the timing, divine timing, mm-hmm. most important. And the assurance that so when people at my place of work are wondering, or oh, Peter, they're wondering, Madam, why are you taking this move at this time? Because really, I'm not living into another company. I know of a shorty, right, that God has said it is time. And then He has sent words ahead to let me know that, Madam, calm down, I got you sorted. So I'm just grateful to God for the blessing of divine guidance. Hallelujah. And, uh, amen. Amen. And get ready, get ready for all the mighty things God is set to do in Jesus' name. Congratulations. Amen. Um, um, Sister Tolu. Praise the Lord. Is it my sister? Yes, please. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, I'm driving, so that's okay. I, I know I figured out. Yeah, I can hear you. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody, and thank you. And I want to say thank you to God for this platform. I want to say thank God for my family, my nuclear family. I want to thank God for my sister, because she was the one that introduced me to this platform. And God, as every time I join, is always a confirmation, a word of encouragement. And I also want to thank God for provision. And this particular provision just blew my mind. Two things I'm thanking God for, that God, he knows ahead what we're going to need and he provides. This testimony on Saturday precisely, myself and my husband were chatting and he was saying, oh, this is what he wants to eat because he was fasting when he prays. And he said, <laughs> I'll say it as it is so because it's very funny. He said he would like to eat titles and vegetable, titles, fish and vegetable. And I said, oh, and he said he's very, he doesn't have a lot of money that do I have any money. I said, I can only, I have 10 pounds I can give. And I said, 10 pounds cannot buy it. And he said, okay, don't worry. I even thought he was angry and he was going to go to church. So he left for church. Only for him to call me about two hours later. I said, guess what? I said, guess what? I can't guess. Tell me. Apparently, somebody was driving past the church. One of the church member, though, I said, oh, pastor, you reversed because it's a Saturday. My husband doesn't normally go to church, but he had to go and do something. And he said, I was just going to get home and call you and ask for your address because I've gotten you. I, got, I have something I want to give you. 
this man had bought two cartons of fish, one carton oh, of Titus and one carton of another type of fish. But what blew my mind more was that, so on Sunday I saw this gentleman, I was saying, thank you, say, pastor, you don't understand. Master did not tell him the story before, say, he said, at the beginning of the week, it was laid on his heart that he should buy this thing for us. And it was, it was even going to postpone it. But that Saturday, we, I live in a UK. So you do, I, live, I live in Farnborough. The church is in all the shows, which is outside London. We don't have a lot. So this guy actually went outside uh, the town, the, the county. It went We don't go to the money. So you get what I'm trying to say? God knew we were going to need it. Wow. We wouldn't have the money. Somebody to provide much more <laughs> titles. <laughs> At the end of the day, we got much more. So I just want to say thank you, God. I want to say thank you to God. And also, my other testimony is similar to Mimi's testimony. P, I don't know if you can remember, you gave a testimony yeah. about yeah. my daughter. And that day, before you finish, we were saying because she knows my daughter, as in my daughter is at peace. And, and I just want to thank God. I just want to thank God. The, the, the manifestation is still ongoing, but I can't just but thank God for my children and the family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Amazing God. This Titus fish I will provide. It says that you will not lack anything good in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Sister Passy. And then I'll take Sister go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I good want morning. to thank God for this season, for how God has come through for me. First, I want to thank God for using me to convince, because there's one Cameroonian uh, woman here. She has been bothering her children that she wants to go back to Cameroon that she's been having spiritual attacks and she wants to go back and go and see pastors. So uh, it was on Sunday. I took Hudson to go and see my brother. I reached, Doma was was there, only telling my brother that she has come to complain because if she gets missing, they should not say that she's weak, weak because she has decided that she will get missing if her children cannot send her back to Cameroon. So I, I just felt in my spirit to talk to her. So I took her aside, asked her, but why does she want to go to Cameroon? She said she want to go see her pastors uh, mm -hmm. to pray for her because she has a spiritual attack. They are pressing her. She's talking to her children. Her children can't hear. I asked her that, do you think your, past, your pastors can help you more than the Holy Spirit? She said she's been praying, what, 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 and it's not going. I said, okay, now. I have a suggestion. Do you want us to be praying together? I say, hey, this is what I've been wanting. At least I want somebody to even be encouraging me. But now I'm alone in the house. They only go, go to work. I say, okay, mama. Okay, will you promise me that you will not go to Cameroon? I will be calling you every day. We'll be praying. She said, hey, that's what she, she wanted. Since Sunday, I've been wow. calling her. We have been praying. And now she has, her children reach to tell me that, that she had decided that she's not going back to Cameroon because like my prayer is working. That she's been sleeping <laughs> Sunday, she's been sleeping very well. Nobody has pressed her again. And I really want to thank God. I really, really want to thank God for that. And then secondly, I want to thank God for <laughs> how he came through for me. Uh the devil, the devil attacks my finances. And uh, I dropped out of school. I was not. I was. I dropped out of school for this summer. And then uh, I just said, okay, since I'm out of school, I'm just gonna use this summer and the fall season to to stay in the house and to really take care of Hudson and see him settled. But there's this brother that this step brother. He just called me like three days ago and said, how how is school? I said, no, for now I'm not going to school. It's like what happened? I said, I explained to him that my account was hacked so everything has been shut down for me nothing is working i'm just i'm just there i'm just taking care of my sister he said no you can't drop out of school okay will you want to go back for the fall i said yes but just i don't have the finances he said it's okay i'll pay for you i just want uh -huh. to thank god that even when i thought i was out of school god just used somebody to 
pay my fees when they fall and I'll be going back to school for this four season. I want to thank God. Yeah. Like I read, I'm so grateful. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, so pass they call you evangelist, pass the strategic one. The one that is always buying, you buy TV for them in the village to watch when friends pray. The one that will go to neighbor's house. The one, and I pray that that's why you can never lack and the Lord will continue to strengthen you. You know, something um, dropped in my spirit. I'll call you afterwards to share. Based on it, I, this said, yeah, the seed of the seed of greatness, the seed never is never quiet. It's continue to speak on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Um, lastly, this morning, Sister Ugo. Good morning, PI. Good morning, Good everyone. Morning. Um, first of all, I want to just thank God and give him all the glory. He's a good God. He's a faithful father. What can I say? I'm overwhelmed. I didn't think I would even share this testimony, but I, you know, I'm just going to, I'm still in shock. I'm still overwhelmed. I want to thank God for this platform. I want to thank God for PI. PI, you are a blessing to this generation. I really thank God for God leading me to this place because my life has not been the same. I know we come here and we say, but there's evidence to this. It's not like we're just, it's not a sentimental feedback. There's evidence to it. I have, I can trace my life from when I started coming here and I see the fruits. I see the evidence of goodness. I see the way I navigate life. You know, this year has been short of amazing. This year has been signs and wonders. And one of the things I've been praying for from almost for over a year was to get an allocation for my business. I think I shared this and I yeah. think I even testified in advance mm -hmm. a year ago or something to get mm -hmm. um, a green area allocation for my business because I want to have my own event space. You know, people said it was not possible. You have to be a senator. You have to have, you know, be in government. You have to have connections. They told me to bring money. They told me to bring bribes. They told there's nothing that they did not tell me. And all I kept saying is I'm not going to step out of myself. If God, if this is for me, God will make a way. And that's exactly what happened. God bought a burden bearer that literally was almost a Voltron to fight for me like literally wow. was you know, was going <laughs> i don't even want to get into the story but <laughs> i got my i got my award um letter yesterday i've been allocated i did not bribe one person you know i did not i've not even seen the land like i've not i just got the letter you know and um it's is i'm i'm in shock because <laughs> it's like when you pray for something so much and you desire something so much and when you see it come to pass, you know, I don't think people speak about how sometimes you're numb to even uh -huh. the reality of it because I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. But what that has done has released my mind to every other thing that I'm praying for. That even when, you know, I think is in the praying, the, the, the building up is in the praying. The building up is in the asking. The building up is in, the, you know, the praying is the part of the equipping as well. Mm -hmm. But that does not mean that God has not heard. That does not mean that God will not do it. And when he does it, it will be like a dream because that's what it feels to me like now. I know what this means for me. I know what this means for my business. It changes every single thing for me. You know, this year has been beyond anything I can ever think or imagine. And I really just give God back all the glory honor and praise because I decided to trust him. I decided to trust him in my life, with my business, with, you know, expectation, with, with impossibilities. And he has mm -hmm. not failed me. This was an impos impossibility. They said it could not be done. They said I will not get it. And I have the evidence that God is on the throne. I serve a faithful father that is Amen. good and is kind and he's ready to give me everything that my heart desires. And this is just one. Uh, you know, I'll come back for so much more. I give God all the glory. Thank you, PI, for praying with me, for standing in the gap, for being a faithful shepherd. Thank you to this platform where we come and we just, you know, pour our hearts out and, you know, we feel, we, we, we know that we can and i just really give back god all the glory amen amen it was interesting is that last year this is what we're trusting god for you know i remember yeah last year 
was when she stepped up by faith. I don't even remember that they land, somebody has called, but we are waiting. But between then and now, God did mightier things that this now became, it's still a testimony, but it's just like, oh my God. So sometimes you're trusting God for one thing. You think that's the big, biggest thing you can imagine. And God did a property, did bigger businesses, did bigger opportunity, blessed her with a, 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 a their own workspace, her own property for her work. You see, God is just telling us something here. It is indeed our year of the wealthy place and more than what you can imagine. And I feel like going into August, that's what God is saying to us. As our eyes is seeing now, God is saying, I'm about to topple what you think you have seen exceedingly abundantly above or you can ever ask, think or imagine the Lord God will do and has done in Jesus name. I want to thank God as well for there, there are a couple, I'm telling you in advance that I will return to say one of the major bills I have to finish up paying has been sorted by the hand of God. But I thank God because there was one thing I did, an investment I did, and there was these payments they said was going to be made when they are ready. But they, I didn't get any mail and they just sent me one random out of the blues. They, the money has doubled. I'm like, I don't understand. People sleeping, you just wake up and then tell me that government has doubled the, invest, um, the money that was to be paid for a document. And I'm like, I don't understand. Anyways, went back and forth, called the person that I, I, I routed this through in the beginning, was left, but then was able to step in. I got, and I was saying to God, I got, and something showed up again yesterday. And then I was just looking at everything that's in front of me, like all the trips, all these nations, all the many trips, all the plenty things. <laughs> I say, Father, Lord, nations are open. Nations going requires a lot of nation national wealth. <laughs> you know, just speaking to God that way. And just yesterday, just before I went to bed, I got this alert. I know that you look at your phone twice. And I said, because I told God there was something that showed up I wanted to do. But my God, ah, I'm paying for this. I'm paying for that. I'm just trusting you for, I just said an amount. Now, this is like maybe a tithe of the amount I'm trusting God for. And I trust God that I will return to thank God for the rest of the money, not just in one currency, but in all the three currencies, because we are going to we are going to places that we are spending everything. So it's not just naira, but in pounds, in dollars, in euros, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God for that. And I also want to thank God for how the Lord is opening up the nations. It's, at this point, I don't even I'm just like, yes, Lord. You know, I thank God for making me pliable and working in me to be so flexible because last year i feel like that was one of the dealings the lord did you know to say when i say go to nations it's very easy to think about it happening in a way he has always trained me to go to any place how he wants when he wants but that last year there was a lot of reference prayer i can never forget me last year there was a lot of dealing so i didn't even know what that did to me in a way where i'm it's easy to go like, I'm not stuck in it has to be this way, it has to be that way. How do you want us to go? It is easy to go. Okay, let us move. And just while we're talking about it, somebody is saying, please, can you just pass through Netherlands when you finish in Belgium? Just one of, and it's now seeing how God has scattered people around nation. Just pass through, you know. Um, just me and my friend, Ungada, we just pray with us. And I said, okay, Lord, how do you want us to do this now? Is it going to be a proper event? We're just passing through. So, no, pass through, bless them, and there is an altar towards next year for when friends pray and i'm realizing that going to nations is not tied to just an event going to nations is not tied to just stadium or not stadium or tied to program it can be for one person and i thank god for all the discipline the training he has taken us through and i thank god that all the resources we need i mean we're at the point um, for belgium now we eventually found a venue and they told us we're going to pay per hour we're going to be paying, in for because of relations, we're paying 100 euros per hour. Um, There are other resources, um, things coming up, popping up here and there, but God is just giving us peace. And finally, the Lord God gave me insights, gave me two major insights this week into major things. One of the things was that I, you know, just having that moment of, um, I was just, a particular thing I'm working on, I just got tired because of an incident that happened, I just really got tired. The Lord just this morning was saying to me, Miss, what do you think the devil is trying to steal? Is not this, is not this battle, is the war. And immediately says to encourage somebody. Some people might have faced some blows in your life. You see, the war is guaranteed. 
that you are victorious. There are some battles, some great days, some not so great days, some days that it feels like there was the win for the enemy and you lost. It's a lie. The devil wants to paralyze you so much so you will seed the war. You know, in a war, there are many, many battles. There are little, little things here and there that it looks like ah, I didn't come out as top as I thought I would or things didn't look or you life happened and it made it look like, oh my God. No, 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 no. The war is, guy. you are winning. The, this battle, this war is won. But the intricacies, the in-betweens are the devil's way of making you seed the war. And immediately I just had to open eyes to see what the battle really is in this situation. I thank God indeed for our insight and revelation month. Thank you, Sister Mudukwe, for saying yes, calling us and family revival. I'm telling you that the Lord started saying to me, even in the cities, even in families, even in homes, I'm telling you, I'm having a trip. I'm going to a trip into America again. And one of the things briefly for something else, and I, I had a trip to America one time and it was just for a family. And the testimonies that have been coming from that visit to that family is mind-blowing. I want to encourage somebody, no matter what God has called you to do, don't get boxed in just one way of doing a thing that you miss out on all the ways and all the things God is set to do and has, is ready to do in our midst. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for all the testimonies. We return with many more in Jesus' name. And I must say, I remember vividly when the Lord re recalibrated. The Lord was, and I'm not saying this is just a return of the seed, but I know God is just encouraging. The Lord laid on my heart to sow a particular seed. And boy, it's not the largest I've sown, but it was not also, <laughs> I was like, hey, look at what's in front of me. I thank God I did because I've seen the hand of God much more than what it is that I thought I gave. And it's to encourage us that your seed never leave your, your soil without a seed. Seed, not just financially, even kindness, hospitality, favor, smile, financial seed, all manner of seed. Never leave your soil without a seed. And the Lord God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, with very sad art, and um, but yet strengthened, resolve that God will be with us as we navigate this. I announce the passing to glory of the father of our GSD, director, um, um, Buki, Nikki, and Darren's father passed on yesterday. Is a chieftain, is a, is it about, is, is, is one of the royal people in Ibadan and he died yesterday. So let us put Sister Nikki, Sister Buki, and Sister Dewey in prayer. And let's just pray and keep them in prayer. And just keep that family in prayer. The devil has lost the battle. Has really, really lost the battle. There's been a lot of agitation. Let's just keep them in prayer. That the Lord God will continually strengthen them. So as a family, if you can unmute your mind, just pray for them. We lift you up. We lift up Sister Nikki. We lift up Sister Buki, Sister Dewey. Oh, that the Lord God will comfort you in this season. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord is good with those who are broken and hearted. For your Thank you, God, for how you uphold them. 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 Thank you, God, for how you uphold I also want to thank God for Sister Nikki. Last during the weekend, when she got a call to just she that the father was ill. I mean, just started happening. She dashed. I, I was telling my husband, I thank God for the life of these people. I thank God for Nikki. I thank God for the strictness that the Lord gives her to do things sometimes. Like it's a blessing. She saw her dad. Like on behalf of the family, like she saw her dad before he passed. She was with him laughing. He was playing. He was okay. And I just want to use that to encourage everybody listening. If you're seeing grievance or you are upset, and I thank God for the journey, you will hear a testimony soon. You know, I mean, please, if you as a believer, if you can, because listen, no matter what it is, when they pass, so, you don't want to put yourself in that situation of I wish I could, I wish. You don't, I'm not saying you won't put boundaries when boundaries are needed for 
give enough conversation if you need to. Just how are you? Just start to share. I don't know why I'm sharing this, but if it could be your father, it could be your mother, whatever it is, please. And the Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. Sister Buki, Sister Nikki, Sister Dewey, we love you and you're in prayers. We'll continue to uphold you in our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a fantastic day. Remember, you can use the link to join all the other watches by 9 12 3 6. 9 12 3. I'm back again tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day.